Okay, now we'll go to the hunting games. Now here's a game, this is just like uh, Nintendo's Wild Gunman. And basically what you're doing is you're doing like a quick draw event here. You're trying to outdraw these guys. And when they tell you to fire, you basically just hit the A button. And you get a reward and a score at the bottom. I'll show you what happens if you if you're not so quick on a draw. So that that's basically that game. Kinda like Wild Gunman for Nintendo, even though Wild Gunman for Nintendo with the with the laser gun was much better. Alright. Now watch this guys, this one's gonna blow your mind. This look familiar at all? This game is basically a, a, a dark hunt knockoff. Which is pretty good. If you like this type of game, it, it, it is decent. A lot of power. <laughs> okay, you guys get the idea there. Alright, if we have any fans of Hogan's Alley or Gangsta Town. Basically, you just move this target around, shoot the bad guys, and try not to shoot the good guys. A decent game. But I think in in the hunting category. They have a game called Shooter, which is basically skeet shooting. And this, this guys, is a real fun game. The left target is the A button and the right target is the Y button. For some reason I find this game a lot of fun. It's real challenging and I spent a lot of time trying to break the record. The first place 6,000 point record earlier in the day, that was a lot of fun. And it's, it's, it's a challenge to try to coordinate your, your right and left hand side. That's skeet shooting. Now let's go to the. Uh, I guess we'll just. I'm not going to show you any of the brain games because you know. I mean, I guess that's just boring to, to watch on TV. But you have all these puzzle games down there, and we'll check out. Uh, lastly, the uh, the racing games. Okay, so this brings us to the racing games here. We got overspeed racing.
I mean, graphically, it kind of looks like, uh, oh, I don't know, Rad Racer. Okay, let me start by saying that the sound in this game is completely annoying. The sound of the car is annoying. Uh, the music is just a constant loop. And the play control couldn't be any worse. Yeah, this is basically a, a horrible game and a complete waste of time. Let's try something else. As you, and you, you notice that it's the same music for the car game than it is for the motorcycle game. Which is pretty damn cheesy. Alright, nothing too exciting here. I mean... You got the same music you had for the for the car game, and the same sound effects for the engine, which is pretty annoying. Uh, the play control is terrible, and it's basically really boring. I mean, let's let's crash on purpose just to you know, you know, do anything even if it's wrong in this kind of game, you know. You know? There you go. So, th this game sucks too. Once again, we have the same music. Now, I love the view in this game. It's kind of set up like Spy Hunter, but once again, the play control is terrible. The way the car moves around is ridiculous. And there doesn't seem to be any real objective to this game. Play control is so horrible in, the, in this particular game. This is not the type of game I'd want to ever play again. So that's racing for you. And lastly, they have one game in, in the music section here called Jazz Drum. And I guess you gotta just follow along and press the arrows as you see them. I don't know, so, some people might like this game. I, I just find it completely annoying. I, don't know. I, I think you guys pretty much get the idea. So that's that's Excite Sports Games. So that's it. That's that's ex that's Excite Sports Games. And uh, you know, and to be honest with you, um, I really thought when I when I picked this thing up that I was going to wind up either bashing it with a, with a hammer or crushing it in a vice or something like that. And uh, you, you know, there are a couple things that kind of grab me about this game system. I like the golf. Uh, I like the, the athletics games, like the Olympic-style games. Uh, you know, some of the arcade games aren't bad. The, the Contra knockoff isn't that bad. Uh, so, you know, I, to be honest with you, I wouldn't pay more than, than the $9 that I paid for it. So if you're interested in picking this system up, definitely don't pay more than, than 10 bucks for the goddamn thing. I mean, it's more of a novelty than anything else. It's something that I might pull out again, you know, 
just as a kind of just to kind of show people, you know, you know what a, what a goof it is or whatnot. So for that, it, it gets uh, it gets three, a score of three out of ten quarters, you know, and that and that's going to save it from from uh, that's going to keep it in one piece, and it's going to keep it here in, in in our collection. So so that's it. Excite Sports Games, the the wireless plug and play motion sensitive game system. All right, guys. See you next time.